morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Tuesday. It's actually getting a little bit late. It's 10.30 right now. I haven't had my coffee. So, oh, who's that? It's Kuya. AJ just got home from work. He actually uh, was supposed to be off today, but they had they called him called him in for a couple of hours. So you did what, seven to 10? Yeah, it's like three hours. Yeah, three hours. So anyways, what was I saying? I need to make my coffee because I haven't had my coffee yet. So we're making iced coffee. I put this necklace on, I haven't worn it yet. This is my first time wearing it. And I forgot to show you guys, actually my friend Pono from Hawaii, he gave this to me when we were out there for my birthday. If you guys remember the first time we went to Hawaii, he gifted me this beautiful Tahitian pearl necklace where it was like pearls all the way around. Do you guys remember that necklace? I love that necklace. And he gave me another pearl. I'm gonna have to take it off and show you guys because it's so beautiful. And then he gave necklaces for the kids and also for Alfredo as well. He's so sweet, you guys. Also, he gave us a Disney puzzle, so we'll have to see if the kids want to um, put that together. I love when you pour in the creamer. It looks so pretty. So good. So this is the pearl that he gave me. It's so pretty. It's a carved pearl. Like it, it's just, it's so beautiful. I've never seen anything like this before. I hope you guys can see it. It's so beautiful. I love it. And then I just put it on my gold chain that I already had. I love it. Thank you again, Pono. AJ got himself a big breakfast. I know, I'm so hungry, guys. This is gonna be my lunch. My it's brunch. gonna be your brunch. Yeah. Lunch. Lunch already. And then he's so sweet, he got me a hash brown because he knows they're my favorite. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. For lunch today, I'm just having leftover spaghetti. I made this on Sunday and we still had some left. So I was like, you know what? Let me eat this because I don't want it to go to waste. So yeah, this is what we're having for lunch today. I also wanted to talk about some things. <laughs> As you guys know, yes. I just started talking to our friends. Hold on. Okay, we're back. So as you guys know, I am pregnant and I'm 40 years old. Maybe you didn't know, <laughs> I'm 40 years old. I just turned 40 at the end of January and I have two kids. They are 20 and 17. So yes, I am starting all over. I had my first son, my first kid when I was 19. I got pregnant when I was 19. And it's crazy, I was just thinking about it. When I got pregnant, I didn't get judged or anything like that. Like no one judged me, no one said anything like bad about it. Everyone was just really excited that I was having a baby, which is crazy because I was 19, I wasn't in school. Like I only did, I only just did high school. I graduated high school at that time. Um, I was living with my parents. I did not have a job. I was not really in a good, healthy relationship. I like didn't have anything, right? And it's crazy that no one, I didn't get the type of judgment that I'm getting now. But then I thought about it and I was like, well, I wasn't on social media. So who was going to judge me? Like, I think at the time we had Facebook and MySpace maybe, but I wasn't on any of those. So I, I wasn't on social media. Now I'm 40 and I'm pregnant and I get so much shit for it, which doesn't make sense because I'm financially stable. I own my own house. I'm responsible. I'm in a very loving relationship. I have a good job like why 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 can't i have a baby just because i'm 40 and because my other kids are 20 and 17 it just doesn't make sense to me and then also people would ask like well when you were with your ex-husband you always said you didn't want any more kids which is true i didn't want any more kids with him and neither did he he didn't want kids with me either um, and then after I got divorced, about a year after I got divorced, well, 
I won't say it was a year after I got divorced because divorce takes a long time, but it was like a year after we separated. I met Alfredo. And from the beginning, like we knew we wanted to be together and we knew we wanted to have a baby together. He doesn't have any kids. And sometimes when you're with the right person, you just want to have kids with them. You want to start, you want to have a family with that person, you know, things change. And that's exactly what happened with me. Things changed because I was with someone that I truly loved and like he loved me and like it's just different like our relationship is way different than what I had with my ex-husband so I think we were together for probably like six months and we started trying to get pregnant and I got pregnant pretty fast but then I had a miscarriage at 10 weeks I was 38 years old um, and then we said, okay, let's try again. So we kept trying. It took a little bit longer for me to get pregnant again, but I got pregnant again, but it was, at, but it was a blighted ovum. Basically that's when an embryo doesn't form. So there's a, an empty sac. So when I went to have the ultrasound, there was nothing in the sac empty. I had to get an abortion for that because my body didn't recognize that there was no baby, no embryo. And so it wasn't like releasing it. You can wait. If you want, you can wait and see if your body will release. But I just, I didn't want to wait because I didn't know how long it was going to take. So I did have an abortion for that. And then I said, Let, I'm going to try one more time. We're going to try one more time. I was already almost getting close to the age of 40. I was already going to, I was 39, but I was close to 40. So I was like, I want to try one more time because after I turn 40, I don't want to try anymore. So we kept trying. I had my period once, and then the next cycle I got pregnant with this pregnancy. And thank God, you know, I'm so thankful this baby stuck. I feel like my plate is all meat. I need to get more noodles, but I got pregnant when I was 39, then I turned 40. And now I will be 20 weeks tomorrow. And we're so excited. And we're so happy. And I know there's always going to be people out there hating and judging. There's always going to be trolls out there. Like you can't avoid that. Especially I put my life on online. So I don't expect everyone to be happy for us and respectful and nice because I know that I have a lot of haters. But sometimes the things that people say do get to me, especially with my pregnancy. And I know I shouldn't let it get to me. You trolls are not going to win. Because no matter what you say, I'm happy with my life. I'm happy with the decisions that I've made. And yeah, I've gained a lot of weight. That's like another thing that people always want to talk about is my weight gain. When I think it was 2019, I did keto and I lost I lost some weight, not like a significant amount, but I did lose some weight. I only did keto for like three months. And once I got off, I immediately gained 10 pounds back. And then just over like two years, I gained like most of the weight back or like all of the weight back. And then with this pregnancy, right now I've gained 10 pounds. And people are always saying, you always say you don't want to gain a lot of weight, but you're always eating so bad and unhealthy and fast food and you're always eating out. But I've always eaten this way. Like I haven't changed the way I eat. So, anyways, all that to say, I'm happy. I'm enjoying my life. I'm going to eat what I want to eat. If I gain weight, oh well. I can lose it after I have the baby. Because I have a plan, you know. And that, that's it. I'm just happy. We're happy, right, Callie? I'm 40. I'm pregnant. And I'm happy.
and I own my own house. I live in Southern California, which is what I always wanted to do. Like I always said, I want to move to Southern California and live near Disneyland. We live an hour from Disneyland, which is amazing. And I'm just living my best life. And I, yeah, that's it. Okay. That's all I wanted to talk about. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I would love to answer them for you guys. Okay. Actually, before I let you go, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been so loving and so supportive to us. I, you guys, you know, I get like a small amount of hate, but the amount of love that we get is just, it's overwhelming. So I wanted to thank you guys for all of the love and the support. Do you guys remember the Winnie the Pooh wall art I showed you the other day and then I it had spelling errors. So Amazon was sending a replacement, the replacement came and guess what? They have the same errors. Not only that, they gave me two of the same page, like, one art has two, I don't know how to say that, oh my god. <laughs> There's a duplicate of one of them. And yeah, same spelling error. So we're not gonna do that anymore. We're just gonna return both of these because I'm pretty sure they are just all <sighs> printed that way. So I ordered something else, a different one. And it's unfortunately by the same company. So I kind of don't have high hopes for this, but this one I don't think had a lot of words on it, so like, we'll see. Why can't I open this one? Oh my goodness. That was horrible, just trying to get this open, okay. Now, this one only has four. The other one had six, which I'm kind of a little bummed about because I wanted six. But Eeyore says be kind. Piglet, be happy. Pooh, be brave. And Tigger, be you. So these are good. None of them have any errors on them. So just imagine them kind of like two and then two on the wall or I might do two on this end and two on this end we'll see how I decide to put that up and then I got the frames that I ordered I, they came yesterday so I'll show you guys well they're just plain black frames I'll probably just show you guys once I hang it up on the wall this is a baby registry gift actually so we'll wait for Sunday when we do our baby registry Sunday opening of the gifts. It is five, about to be 5.30. I'm working on dinner. You guys hear Callie barking? I swear to you, every time I start filming, it could be on my camera or on my phone and she will start barking. <sighs> Anyways, I'm starting on dinner. I saw someone make this on TikTok. It's basically just chicken sausage. So I already have the sausage browned. This is just the Adele's chicken apple sausage, but you could just use, you know, whatever sausage you want. And then pasta, so I just put this in. We're waiting for this to cook. I'm using rotini. You could use whatever pasta you like. And then she makes the sauce with a spinach artichoke dip. I only could find spinach artichoke and Parmesan dip, which I'm sure is fine. So yeah, spinach artichoke, artichoke, spinach artichoke dip. And I bought two because I wasn't sure if this would be enough but I'm just gonna start with one. We're gonna thin this out with some of the pasta water and that's gonna be our sauce. So I used like one and a half of the containers cause at first I put too much water. So I was like, oh, I have to put more of the dip. So definitely put the water in little by little, but I think this is a good consistency. So we'll see. I drained my pasta, I added the sausage and now I'm gonna add the sauce in. Here is what the pasta is looking like. I did add salt and pepper, just season it to taste however you like it, and it's really good, you guys. You guys should definitely give it a try.